Life is tremendously varied, ranging from tiny creatures to trees the size of skyscrapers. Life on other planets would be just as varied. There is, however, no reason to expect that aliens would assume human-like shapes. Perhaps a creature like an octopus or a bird is more plausible. Because all life forms strive to survive as long as they can, the most evolved aliens might be totally mechanical robots. In this video, I will give you a sneak peek at what scientists think alien life might look like. With so many potentially habitable exoplanets, many people assume that life, possibly intelligent life, must have evolved on at least some of them. The popular belief is that they resemble humans. They have two arms, two legs, a nose, two eyes, and two ears, and something that is slightly different. However, scientists may argue that it is a pastime to ignore Hollywood's humanoid view of extraterrestrials. When Carl Sagan visited a rivals camp, he said that extraterrestrials would be radically different from us. Stefan Jay Gould, a paleontologist and evolutionary biologist, expressed similar feelings, but concluded that there was no scientific means to investigate the topic other than discovering life on another planet. According to Brian Cox, life in the cosmos is most likely abundant. Intelligent life, on the other hand, is a different story. Cox says in his 2015 book, Human Universe, that there is a chemical inevitability to life in the universe. However, he adds that sophisticated life on Earth developed only with the creation of eukaryotes, cells with organelles. Research suggests eukaryotes developed as a result of one primitive cell, called a prokaryote, like a bacterium, absorbing another two billion years ago. Mitochondria and chloroplasts are descendants of independent prokaryotes that entered symbiotic relationships with larger cells. The appearance of eukaryotes on Earth was a very unexpected event. Cox refers to it as an evolutionary bottleneck and believes it occurred just once in the cosmos. Chris Hadfield, the former International Space Station commander, believes the strange 500 million year old soft-bodied fossils discovered in Canada's Burgess Shale provide some clues. It's so wildly different to the life we're used to, he says. There was such wild experimentation through the four billion years of life on Earth. He speculates that we may discover life on Mars, Enceladus, or Europa, and that it might resemble an organism that went out during a great extinction on Earth. But I might have that completely wrong, he says. Some of the strange examples they came up with on Star Trek might be a better representation, he adds. Neil deGrasse Tyson claims, in his book, Death by Black Hole, 2005, that microscopic life is potentially buzzing across the cosmos. Intelligent life, on the other hand, is quite likely to be in short supply. However, the Copernican principle, the key idea that we and our planet are not unique, means that it must exist someplace. Tyson says ET must be limited to a maximum size. It could not be as big as the solar system, 10 light years across, even assuming nerve impulses at the speed of light. Even if it wanted to scratch its head, then this simple act would take 10 hours to accomplish. He hopes that some intelligent ETs are sending out messages into the cosmos, rather than like us, scanning in the hope of hearing an alien transmission. If not, he writes, everybody would be listening, nobody would be receiving, and we would collectively conclude that there is no other intelligent life in the universe. Hey, I just wanted to say a big thank you for watching and for your ongoing support of NASA Space News. We here on this channel work so hard to provide comprehensive coverage of the news each and every day. And if you like our work, you can show your appreciation by joining the channel or simply by subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.